What if I told you YouTube changed my life as a 40-year-old nobody, going through grief, a possible midlife crisis, and feeling a bit lost about what the future holds? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mikey. Hi, hello, welcome. In today's video, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about my YouTube journey. I'm gonna break this up into three sections. The first is gonna be about the confidence I gained through starting my channel. Second is all the memories I've created, whether big or small. And third is about how I made over $25,000 without even being monetized. But before we get into it, let's start from the beginning. About 10 years ago is when I started to think about starting a YouTube channel. Back then, I was traveling a lot with my now husband Donnie, and so naturally I thought of starting a travel vlog. But during that time, I feel like that's when all these YouTube travel content creators were blowing up. You had these amazing Instagram photographers taking these epic landscape shots of the places they've been. I was already comparing myself to these amazing creators when I hadn't even started a channel. And this is when I got my first taste of imposter syndrome. So it became one of those things where I kept putting it off and I kept saying, maybe next year. Next year came, and so did the next, and before I knew it, I was 35. I was traveling a lot less because we were looking into buying our first home, and so I thought, hmm, maybe I could start a lifestyle vlog. But again, that's when all these lifestyle channels started blowing up. You had all these younger creators talking about their first week at university, life in their 20s, getting the first job, and here I am, mid-30s, thinking, who the hell's gonna watch a 35-year-old nobody? Maybe next year. So another five years passed, and here I was, about to turn 40. A few months prior, my dad had just passed from COVID, so I was dealing with a lot of grief and searching for a lot of answers. But I remember telling myself that right before I was turning 40, I was gonna start my channel. I was trying to manifest starting it. Well, 40 came and went, but this time it was for good reason. I devoted that year to healing and basically dealing with grief. And through that time, I also began to realize what self-love really was about. Through all my solo hikes, having my own inner monologues and listening to podcasts from people like Jay Shetty, I was in my own therapy session not knowing this would eventually prepare me for my YouTube journey. And so there I was at the ripe old age of 40, starting my YouTube channel, 11 years later, titled My First Vlog. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Mikey and welcome to my first vlog. Who am I? I'm nobody. I'm actually just a regular dude who likes to watch a bunch of vlogs. So if you're here because you're interested in starting a channel and if there's one thing you should take from this video, it's don't wait like me and start today. YouTube has become my superpower. Growing up, I knew I was different, aka gay, but back then we never really talked about it. That caused a lot of self-doubt and isolation. I always felt like I had to hide a version of myself in fear of not being accepted or loved. So because of that, I created these walls as a kid, which kind of followed me through my adulthood. I became introverted, awkward, and had major social anxiety. I had a hard time communicating with my loved ones verbally, and I was also very awkward talking to strangers. But there's something empowering about pressing the record button and knowing that strangers will be watching your video. They may like you, they may dislike you, they may critique you, or they might not even care at all, but it's empowering to know that you're the main character in your own story. And while I hope that my audience will gain something from my videos, whether it's being relatable, entertaining, or maybe even just learning a thing or two, or even some comfort content, the main character is and always will be me. And through editing, you get to see yourself through a third perspective. You're able to foster growth about the things you like about yourself, but you also get to change some of the things you don't which you might not even notice if you're not spending hours a day editing your videos. It's a very weird concept to grasp, but if I could somehow relate it to something, it would be like watching a video journal or diary of yourself. So here I am, 50 videos deep, putting myself out there in ways I never thought possible. And this newfound confidence has allowed me to do things on my own and genuinely enjoy myself. I take myself out on dates, I go out to eat alone, I take scenic drives, I explore and try new things, and I found a way to enjoy life. I learn to enjoy my own company. I put myself out there without fear, I say yes a lot more, and I genuinely want to continue to be a better version of myself. Imagine looking back years down the line about a once in a lifetime trip with friends or family, or even something as simple as dinner with dad. 
both equally beautiful. The main reason for starting my channel was to document memories and my life. I spent most of my life as a photographer, from the first disposable camera I took on my 6th grade camping trip, to my career as a creative professional. Making memories was always part of my life, and I'm sure a lot of you can relate now that we have these phones that can capture memories in an instant. But these moments and memories get lost in the abyss of thousands and thousands of digital files sitting on the cloud, on our phone, or on our hard drives. When was the last time you looked at hundreds of photos to relive a trip? I wanted an outlet where I can look back at the past, all the things I got to do, and all the family and friends I got to share it with. While I said earlier that I am the main character in my story, there's a bunch of people who are very much an integral part of that story. Hundreds of future side quests to conquer, different levels to achieve, and new powers to unlock. The main reason for starting my channel was to have a visual documentary of my life filled with both exciting times and also those mundane moments. And in this journey, I hope to find a community to share that with, grow with, and learn from. And for me, that alone is worth starting a YouTube channel. YouTube will always be a passion project first and a side stream of income second. It's no secret that many of us would want to create a career on YouTube. Being able to work on your own terms, on your own time, who wouldn't want that? That's the YouTube dream. But the reality is, not many of us will reach that YouTube stratosphere. Many will fail, many will remain just as a hobby, but many will also be able to create some sort of income through YouTube. For me so far, most of that has come through Trade for Product, which basically means a company will send you a product in exchange for content. So far to date, I've grossed over $25,000 none of which has come from being monetized. That number comes from Trade for Product as well as freelancing UGC, user-generated content for various brands. With that said though, my channel has actually been monetized a few months ago, but I'm not including that here. I am currently working on a YouTube video about how much YouTube paid me for my first paycheck, shameless plug, that video will be out soon. So how did I make all that money without being monetized? Well, technically, you don't need to be monetized to make money on YouTube, you just need to get noticed. I've noticed recently that there's been a shift in brands working with UGC content creators regardless of how many followers you have. Learning the skills needed to shoot, edit, market, and upload a video onto YouTube can train you for those sort of gigs, especially if you're adding short form content to your skill set. My journey started with unboxing this really unique accordion style shelf from my house. It wasn't anything special, it got less than 500 views, but all it took was one person to see it. They reached out to me to see if I wanted to work with them because they had an outdoor furniture collection coming out and that retailed for over $6,000. So you know I said hell yeah. I ended up creating the content for them and then another company saw that content and they offered me a freelance position with them to be a UGC content creator and so far I've made about 4000 actual dollars with this company. And another chunk from that monetary gain was doing a review on a couch by a company called Floyd. I bought this couch with my own money, but I wanted to do a review on it because I had seen other past reviews on sofas. The sofa arrived and the packaging was completely damaged and I was super honest in my review. I mentioned how the boxes were falling apart, how the couch was stained, and I even talked about how some of the hardware seemed really cheap to me. That aside, I actually really ended up loving the sofa. It's just so comfortable. And at the end of my video, I had mentioned that, and if I'm being really honest with you guys, I would exchange the three-seater of this couch for the one that I have in my living room in a heartbeat. And a day later, I get an email from the company titled Gifting Opportunity. I was wondering what this might be, but I was excited anyways. I read the email. They wanted to make my dreams come true and send me my dream sofa, free, with a coffee table. They didn't ask me to do a follow-up video, create content, nothing. It was literally a gift. All this to say, the things that I learned from starting my YouTube channel has garnered me the skills to be able to leverage making money or getting free stuff. And who doesn't like free stuff? So to wrap it up, if you're here because you're contemplating starting a YouTube channel, don't wait till next year, start today. Because you never know. And I'm not saying that you're gonna have a similar journey as me because everyone is different. I'm just letting you know that starting a YouTube channel could change your life. I dare you to trust in yourself. I dare you to believe in yourself. I dare you to be you. And in the end, if I never gain another subscriber and my mom is the only one who continues to watch my videos, Hi mom, that's totally okay with me. What I've gained through starting my YouTube channel has been priceless and I wouldn't change it for anything. Well, technically that's not true because I would have started 11 years ago. That's gonna be it for this video. As always, thank you so much for watching and if you can, try to choose happy over sad today and I will catch you in the next one. Bye everyone.